Hello and welcome. In this Cold Words JavaScript video, I'll be taking you step by step how I solved the reverse words challenge on coldwords.com. I solved this challenge in two easy to follow steps, but before I get to that, let me explain the challenge a little bit. You will receive a string and your task is to reverse every word in it while retaining the order of those words. The steps I took are as follows. First, I want to split all words into separate arrays of letters. To do that, I used a split method on every space and then mapped over all the items in that array and split them up in, into letters. Then I wanted to go ahead and reverse them and join them back up into a sentence. I used the reverse method and joined the string back up the same way I split it up. So now that you know the steps you need to take to solve this one yourself, go ahead and give it a try as that's the truly best way to get better and I'll just get down to coding now. This is a very straightforward challenge so I will keep it short but I also want to show you how everything changes step by step. So first off I'll create a console log and I'll be solving this challenge inside it. So first off, um, I want to split this sentence into an array of words. So I'll just use the split method and I'll use the space as the argument. So now if I console log it, you can see that I have a array of words. So as I said before, now I want to loop over all those words and split them up even further um, into array or arrays of letters. To do that you could use a loop but arrays actually have a method for that to um, basically change all the items in it and return the same changed array and it's a map method and that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use it with a one argument. Uh, the, if you look up in the documentation on MDN, you can see that the first argument is the element in the array and it's going to iterate over the all the items. So we're just saying what we want it to do to every item in that array. And what I want it to do is just split it up into an array of letters so I'm just gonna leave it uh, give an empty string here that way it's gonna split it up on every letter so now I can move on to reversing those words up and then joining the array back into a string so while still in the map method I want to run the reverse method on those arrays so because this is an array now I can actually console log it again Hmm, I messed up somewhere. I think I'm missing one bracket. Yeah, so as you can see now I have a two-dimensional array and inside it there's arrays of words but they're split up into letters now. Now I can get on reversing it. So I'll just run the reverse method. And now it's reversed so I can just join it back up the same way I split it up and the way I split it up was with an empty string so I'll just do that and I have it so now to join it back into a sentence I have to get out of that map method which is uh, somewhere here and I have to just join it again the same way I split it up here which is a space and then it should be all right, and it should join it back up. There's something wrong. Oh, it's because I'm console logging it instead of returning it. So I can just do it like this and everything should be all right. And it is, so that's it for this video. I hope this helped and let me know if you had any problems or if you did it differently. I'm always interested and I will see you in the next video.